Art. One word. Three letters. A single syllable. Yet, in this short phrase lies an unending cavern of meaning and expression. The florid hue of the autumn leaves. A smile. A man coughing into a dinner plate. Our world is rich with beauty in the most mysterious of places. It is the responsibility of artists to reveal these hidden joys. Hi, I'm your host Desmond Sparks, and here at L'Artiste we take a weekly adventure into the creative realm by looking up local up-and-coming artists and delving into the core of their essence. This week I met with experimental film prodigy Enrique Enrique. At only 20 years old, he has become the leading voice in his artistic community. While some choose to criticize his eccentric behavior, his genius is unquestionable. Let's take a look. Oh, there's my tea. My tea is done. My name is Enrique Enrique, and I'm an experimental filmmaker here in Boston. The first question I'd like to ask every artist on this show is, why do you get into the respected field that you're in? Why do you make experimental films? Well, I think why I'm so drawn to the art form is the ability to show someone something they've never seen before. You know, I don't make entertainment. I make visceral experiences. I can make my audiences overjoyed. I can make them lose faith. I can make them disgusted. Every time I make a film, I'm grabbing my viewer by the throat and spitting in their mouth and screaming, Look at me! Look at what I'm doing to you! Remarkable. It's so refreshing to see someone at such a young age with such understanding. Tell me about your background. I grew up in a small Appalachian town called Cumberpatch, West Virginia. Both of my parents were goat farmers. That's really where I believe I got my work ethic. Um, actually, I saw my first movie when I was 15 years old. I remember a traveling salesman came into town and sold me an old VCR and a bootleg VHS tape of Gremlins 2, The New Batch. 30 seconds in and I knew I had found a new path in my life. And when I realized I wanted to be an experimental filmmaker, I moved to the city for inspiration. But uh, being young and impulsive, uh, I really didn't have a plan. And things were rocky financially at first. I was hungry a lot of those nights. Do you know what it's like to fight off a pack of raccoons for a week old six inch black forest ham sandwich? I can't even. I don't even like him. It's like the socially awkward stepchild of deli meats. Luckily, I got my first big break making videos of my work in the underground improvisational performance scene. Along with fellow artists Ray Ray Wilkins and the X-Men formed a group called Who Invited Wolves to this birthday party? And we became the talk of the town. I then used that popularity to branch off into some of my own work and start getting some attention for my short films. And that's when you made hands? Yeah, that's when everything changed. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I get chills every time I see that. Hands, a kaleidoscope of flesh, skyrocketed you to fame in the art community. 
It seems you take every established convention and throw it away and establish your own. Why, in your opinion, is the art world wrong today? We've taken the experiment out of experimental film. That's all these are, experiments. It's no different than when you're in grade school and you make one of those volcanoes with baking soda and vinegar for the science fair and all your classmates gather around and you drop a live mouse in and you all chant, swim mouse, swim, swim mouse, swim. I'm pretty sure mice aren't able to swim. Yeah, yeah, we found that out almost instantly. But I also learned an important lesson. Life can be ugly. And when you look for happiness, sometimes you only end up with a dead mouse and a B minus. I'm always trying to move forward as an artist. I certainly believe that this new piece that I'm working on will do that. It challenges the strict social guidelines we set for ourselves when behaving in public. We tend to ignore strangers and just stare down at our phones when there's so much possibility for human interaction and personal connection. I understand you have a clip? Yeah, roll it. I want to crawl inside of your mind and live there like a curious tapeworm, just feeding off of the succulents. Well, that's our show. Thank you, Enrique, for being on. It was a pleasure. Next week, I'll be interviewing a quadruple amputee on his famous finger painting. This has been L'Artiste. Bon nuit! Bye.